Glamamore's drag performances were as genius as her alter ego's couture creations. Sometimes a gestural dance of punctuated precision, sometimes a dervish of unhinged emotion. Glamamore embodies the fullest potential of drag, pushes its limits and blurs its lines. She's made me cry often. Not hard to do at all, but still. In classic Judy Garland drag, as a sad clown, as a mad woman smearing her lipstick and opening her mouth bigger and wider than I've ever seen a human do. My friend Kevin used to joke that Glamamore could disengage her jaw like a snake. She also, on more than one occasion, has sat perfectly still in an enthralled nightclub full of rowdy drunk queers without lip syncing at all but looking nonetheless as if the words to the song were coming out of her eyes. One time this culminated in a perfect tear rolling down her face and another time with rose petals falling out of her mouth. Glamamore is a method actress of drag. The great opera diva Maria Callas once said, never move your hand unless you follow it with your eyes and with your soul. Advice Glamamore seemed to have invented. Glamamore's body always knows what, it, what it's doing, and she can transform it at will, shape-shifting from show to show, from moment to moment. One of my favorite moments of Glamamore's body was for a Bjork tribute night at the shack. Glamamore chose the song Pagan Poetry, a plaintive proclamation of visceral sexual love. Glamamore entered with white fabric draped seductively across her naked, unpadded body, uh, a goddess arising from her lover's bed. She let the sheet fall to reveal not the man's body we knew she walked around in by day as Mr. David, but something else. Her chest was unenhanced, but her waist nipped in, and below that was a surprise, a juicy pubic mound, what looked like actual but outsized labia majora, with a twist on the usual drag queen tuck. Glamamore had pulled her penis between her testicles and pushed them forward to make her lady parts. I would learn later that she had tied a nylon stocking to her penis head and then secured it to another nylon stocking around her middle under the corset in this state, Glamamore brandished an oversized but functional needle and thread and sewed the draped white fabric into a goddess gown right on her body.